Bina guy. Thank you for the sub, mate. Bina guy. <laughs> I don't think I've received the sub before, right before I'm gonna start the stream, just by seeing my commands. So thank you, Bina guy. Good morning, mate. All the best from Oz. Beeston. Pretty early down there, mate. Well, it depends where you're from in Australia. 6.30 in the morning in Adelaide. Let's get this guy's bounty, shall we? Put the rest... I'm, I'm digging these groovy backgrounds. It, I know it's like a little bit cheesy, maybe a little bit too much, but I don't know. <laughs> I like mixing it up. It's kind of cool. They've done a good job. Get a bounty, pick off a short stack. Three about C about standard stuff here. So the only downside I can see to flatting this raise is if he holds like eight X suited, nines or tens, and then like a broad a king or an ace rolls off, that's the only like time it sucks. But he shouldn't raise many combos that contain an ace or a king in there. So we don't even mind seeing an ace or king roll off. We just um, don't like it in the sense that we lose action when it does, if he has a good hand. I mean, I could even bet like a big bite on this river and a call a jam, get into side call off 8x suited sometimes. I'm surprised he's not shoving turn because I'm still gonna have ace king there. Unless uh, he's just like really good and knows that population had the jam ace king there or something and then like finds exploitable folds. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that could be like some 300 IQ shit. 3 bet super. 3 bet super, one third, half pot, half pot. Hey, nice. Nice pot, nice bound too. Yay! Overkill. Got a shovel in on the 5.30 here. GG. Not a good river with Deuce 3 getting there. I don't think he pots it with a 5, more likely to pot it with a draw. 8x, so he block 4, 5. I guess he pure checks most 8x in the flop. Yeah, he shouldn't really be barreling much 8x, so maybe it's a questionable turn call if he still has 8x in his range. Uh, let's go for Sky. Didn't believe him. Pot pot, he's probably not potting the turn with 6-7 with the straight. They're better than a flop at that end. When he pots that river, he's repping two pairs. Because I have some ASX in my range. Well, quite a bit actually. So yeah. I'm trying to find a reason not to uh, bet this flop, but I think that's terrible. I mean, with short, maybe a small reason. To be fair, if we're gonna fly any combo in the world here, apart from the obvious Queen-10, this might be one of them. Like Ace, Jack, or Hearts, Ace, King of Hearts. I don't know, let's just get it in and try and get there. How are you gonna brick me like that when I have so much equity? That should be fucking illegal. Almost said I love you. Nice. Speaking of giant things, it is a beanstalk now. Who remembers last night? Who remembers last night? It literally 2x'd overnight. Unreal scenes. Oh shit. Okay, we're just gonna rejam our 34 here, looking for the bounty. Good luck, Halloween. I already got one bounty. Wouldn't mind adding another one, plus some chips. Five. Boring. Precisely, I pick here, right? That is uh, some of the cleanest poker you'll see today. I'm just gonna shove here for this bounty. Also, cover this guy. 
I think it's always going to play better as a shark versus coal because if we just call, it's always going multi away. And I'll ter in terms of the hands we jam here, we're actually ahead of our range. Like we're way up in a range for them versus all the hands we're going to shove. They're just printing the oh, nice bouncy. I'm gonna bet big because I don't block any draws as well. I'd be more inclined to shack with like a shack of spades here, I think. Next line of spades. But it could also be a fine spot to check here and see about like Jack King of spades, eight nine of spades instead. Oh, shit. Pants together, guys. We want to have a stack in the 320 and we deserve a stack in the 320. That turn is just so fucking lame, dude. Wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know how to read hands, honestly. Oh my god. I'm just in a mindset where I need to see black to accept that that's the only way I win. There's no other way to win the hand. But no, there was another way to win the hand. Fucking A, dude. Let's go. Nice. This is an interesting turn barrel spot. This is really interesting. I feel like, I feel like every hand I have that wants to bomb this, like I feel, I feel like if I ever bomb this turn and go like 80%, I feel like I need to three barrel a bunch, but I also don't feel comfortable three barreling jack 10 here. I'm not totally sure, honestly. It's weird, because I can also get value from hearts on both shack hacks. It's very close, honestly. I'm not sure how to approach this spot on the turn. It's 25 effective preflop, so he has like less ASX that's checking back. So it also could just be a fine three streets hand. So I'm just gonna check Cole and hope he bluffs hearts here and puts me on 9x. But he has to bet big, I think. I think he needs to keep his sizing polar here. Yeah, that's a good bet. Nice hand. I didn't put him on Queen 10 because I feel like that hand doesn't need to bluff as much. Because it has strong shutdown value. And if I'm gonna check call a bunch of my jack X and it's like not amazing, and he already has like great equity versus my 9x, you can check back by rivers, I'm guessing, even. Of course you have quads. That's it, mate. This guy's gonna overcall with ace, deuce, offsuit, and we're just gonna five ball that flop and laugh for days. It's so spectacular when you see the green. Meanwhile over here, check race lock with the set. Aces go busto. Two big pots going my way, you love to see it. Re-enter. Expect blood here though. Someone's getting cut. It's not gonna be me. Nice, mate. I feel like I feel like with our worst hands, we want to come with an RFI here because there are going to be occasion, the occasional time where like one or two of them fold, and it's better to go you know four way than it is five way. But also, I want to play my worst hands aggressive for bounties and hands that have equity that don't want to get jammed off it. Passive, I think, unless it's like premiums. Like for example, a hand like seven eight suit will play better as a flat versus a raise because we don't want to um, limb call a raise a ten five off suit. And we're just gonna with a small bet, I think. Yeah. So him with like little equity, small betting on king high seems fine. Nice hand, mate. Down here we open, get two callers. I mean, I have my worst king in this position, but range is widen with the bounty in the line. I don't know, it's actually quite interesting still because I know, I mean, Rangers are going to slightly widen because his bounty is a minimum bounty, but still, he's probably calling a bunch of position here. I don't know, I don't really feel comfortable battling, like, I mean, I can't even see my worst king because I'm probably opening, like, every suited king in this position for that bounty. Regardless, I'm just going to play it passive for now since it's a little bit awkward deep with these guys. I wonder what you would like, what your draws would be on this turn card. 
I just hope it's like a worse king right now, which is possible because he used to be doing mainly small betting on these flush completers multi-way. Ace is irrelevant. So fucking sick. Jack 10, one diamond, is he bluffing? Seven, nine, it's so fucked. Just had the super nuts of that small turn sizing. Four is pretty much a break, he raised pre, shouldn't have much 4x. And also he's queen x. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. I wouldn't be surprised if he just rock, rocked up with like ace five here. We're not folding versus him. Five three, just turn bottom pen for bluff. He'd probably bluff me in three other parts because he just kept donk shoving rivers on like the worst river for me. Either way, we get him eventually. Anyway, running into fucking Jax is lame as hell. GG. Over here we open. We're two front of money. Check back the flop. Pretty lame spot because he's barreling into two ranges on Monotone. After flatting in the small one with, I'm guessing, a pretty tight range just for two front of money. It's like a really annoying spot facing any bet, but yeah, top pair. Nice. Boring. That's unfortunate. And yet again, unfortunate. I think I should be rewarded on that flop. Just my opinion. Very nice ship up. I hope my YouTube audience is enjoying this video. Halfway through, halfway through to Jason, cut that part out. I don't want to stumble. To my YouTube audience, if you're enjoying this video so far, hit the thumbs up button halfway through the video. I appreciate it, guys. What the hell, mate? That's illegal. That's fucking illegal. I would like the nine of spades. So queen 10 and six seven can arrive for multiple players. That is not a good card. It's a boring card. So this is just more of an exploitable thing. I think population tend to delay bet. Like the top pairs they delay bet in this spot are just gonna find a lot of tough spots to call when I'm raising with three ranges behind me. So like imagine you have Jack 10 here and you face a de you delay bet and then face a raise here. You're just like sick, right? Because what's good about this is I still have pocket eights, pocket fours. I mean, I guess we both have an equal amount of eights and fours. Maybe me. This is kind of close, so it's more, but. I just think in general, like, players are gonna bet fold a jack there when they face a raise. It's just like a pretty under lost spot, but I'm, I don't mind like that stacking with a bunch of equity. And uh, also the cool thing about raising there is uh, the times that maybe button checks back, there were shack X, they find turn folds as well. So I'm not just clearing out equity. I'm not just clearing out this guy's hands, but I'm also clearing out these hands behind me. Okay. Fuck me, right?
That's some clean poker right there. I love seeing another pair. Makes my heart warm. Getting loosey goosey. YouTube audience, if you haven't yet, hit the sub button. Hit the like button on the video as well. Hit the like button on the video. I know I've already plugged it once. I'm gonna keep plugging it until you do so. Down to 11 players. The grind is life. Are you not bored of waking up every day, going to work, going to uni, whatever it is you do? Are you not bored of that? Don't you ever just want to end it and do something else? I'm already falling asleep. Wish you a good session, Pav, and keep growing. I'm going to grow physically and mentally along with that plant, Lucia. Cheers, mate. Defense. Check. 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 We were just that good. I'm not folding, I don't think. I mean, so here's my thought process when I'm trying to enter a recreational's mind. So we do have the note on him that he checked back Ace, Town and Queen, Jack, Five in cutoff first big blind. However, so obviously like shows you that he's more of a passive player, doesn't want to bluff as much. However, that doesn't mean they don't want to bluff in a bet check bet line. They just double barrel less and they figure, oh, he checked river, he's gonna fold a bunch of 8x. The answer is no, I'm not gonna fold 8x because you have, and you have exactly, Jack of Hearts, Queen of Clubs. Fuck. I, mean, I know he's never really betting a 10 and it's just super unlikely for him to check an ace in a turn off the SBR. So I think it comes down to a call. Oops. We're gonna re-jam here. Hang on. Nine. Wow. There's some music for a second. I actually got some fucking five head math to do. Actually, no, we're still taking it. Like, yeah, we get called a bunch behind, but the times we beat this guy and get the ladder, which is worth more than his bounty, it's fine. Not to mention they could just fold it, we could scoop. This guy's gonna call a bunch, but it's okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's fucking go, mate. Bounty down to nine players. Knee dead. Knee dead. Yeah, I was trying to figure out, um, it's really surprised this guy thought of anything there, holy crap. All right, guys. Hands like this for Alan Payev. Hands like this. Oh, nice. Ooh, here we go again. The King Nine will not leave us alone. Hands like this, chat. Hands like this. Hands like this, actually. Yes. Flutter away with me, chat. Hands like this. Hands like this, chat. Good chat, good chat. I mean, we're getting enough folds from this guy, so we'll jam it. I'm a little bit hesitant because, like, like we have less fold equity than the bounty on our head, but he's already folded a few times, so sub 10, so I'll take it. Wow, here we go, here we go, here we go. Heater, down to eight players, by the way. <sighs> Just a lot of scoops pre. This is the part where we get a walk. This is the part where we get a walk. Just to really omega everything. At least we're getting hands we can jam. Oh my god, what the fuck is that tank? I feel fucking slow rolled. <laughs> Such a disgusting feeling. GG. Black nine. I'm too dumb. I'm trying to figure out why I love an overbet here. I'm trying to put it into words for you guys. I just think a lot of the hands that check call flop, he's gonna have tens, nines. Jack 10 and also some Jack X of club combos or like a lot of Jack X of club combos actually. So that's why I bomb here. <laughs> yeah, I like that sizing, I got excited. But still, it could be a trash bet on the turn because he's still gonna call with, you know, a lot of those hands that I can just over bet river against. Unlucky mates, five, no. What do you think, chat? Yellow go for it when he just jams 56 versus limp? Yeah, sure. I got chips to gamble with. I like bounties. Shouldn't affect my tournament life. Wow, just pipped me like that, eh? 
You're gonna do me like that, dog. Guess I jam here. Unlucky to run into an overpower. I mean, a lot of my bluff combos will come with like the Ace of Spades, A6, Ace of Spades, Ace and Ace of Spades. But I flat proves, I'm not sure they have that. Lame. Re enter. This is a nice one, hopefully. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Lag. Snap code. Have a bit worked. Nice. Uh, I need a. Okay, so we're in the money now of the 109 here. 128 in bounty is guaranteed 249. And it's 10k guaranteed. I forgot I was uh, still writing notes down for YouTube. I have this day saver, I guess. Uh, let's hit this full with 3.5. Oh, he limp shoved. Good luck, me. Pocket eights. He has sixes. I flop an eight. He's turned dead. Yes, $104. Let's go. Nice stack, half a million. He played the same standard. Very unlucky. Well, I have a full house. <laughs> Sucks if Axel Rod see that. <laughs> Which is better than a bunch. Okay, nine. Can I just turn a nine to make life easy? I mean, actually, I should probably just raise. In fact, I should probably. Oh my fucking god, it's actually so sick. He's gonna be so wide in general, but it's just like, fuck. Seems disastrous. Just facing a three battle in there. What the fuck does this guy have? If Axelrod double barrels, it's just so fucking filthy, dude. Axelrod's one of the biggest punters in these stakes as well. No, I ain't on the river. Cool, once more, hope he gives up. Even though it looks like he's prepared for three barrels. The fuck does this guy have? Hopefully it's not sevens. Or ace three suited. Oh my god. Please don't shove Axel. Dude, Axel did some insane shit versus me. I don't, I don't have notes in him, but he's done some insane shit versus me. So I think I'm gonna call it down because of that. I don't have notes chat, but there are clips of him doing some bizarre bluffs versus me. I recall the hand where he just punted into my quads. Oh god. Alright, Axel. <laughs> of all of, of all runners, of course in this run out, this is just so fucking filthy. Thank goodness. Hey Shaq. That's just Axelrod doing Axelrod things. <laughs> Uh, I was mentally preparing myself for the entire chat to spam re ICM like they fucking know what they're talking about. Oh, that's a nice one. Axel Rod, mate. Maybe I should raise flop as well. Yeah, yeah. Exactly right. Hits me with the half. -a. Thank you, Chris, for gifting Nitty Living. Nitty Living, thank you for subbing via your own cash, I guess. Check. Don't bomb it. Don't pot it. Nice, mate. <laughs> you keep saying that, but uh, keep talking to you, mate. All right, guys. You want some blood? Red cards is a metaphor right now. But what's about to happen? <laughs> cheeky cheeky boy, nice hands. Yeah, yeah, that's a big thing as well, right? Like it's for, for most players are losing players, right? So it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Dude, did you hear about my um thing? <laughs> yes. 
Damn, that guy pipped him. Down to four players. Do you reckon I'm gonna win? Wow, that's a brave statement. Uh-oh. Yummy. <gasps> J and J. Oh my god, he picks up equity. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Dude. <coughs> the fuck, dude? Look at this hair. Oh my god, dude. Oh wait, you see it on stream. I fucking made that weird sound and swallowed this hair almost. Fucking hell. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I got queens now. Oh, you nasty fucking woman. You nasty woman. That's nasty as fuck. Every time Cookie... Dude, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Every time Cookie wants to donate, I read it as Monster Cock in my head first. <laughs> no, it's, it's Cookie Monster. But I read it as Monster Cock. It's just fucking hell, man. Uh, we'll still defend Tila 30. Travis, this is scary. I defend again with 10-9, it comes 10-3 deuce, other pop is 10-4-5. Like, how close are those numbers? I mean, fuck. I guess I just play a call here. Safe turn card for now. He 3 x free pop for fuck's sake. Maybe I shouldn't even defend it with my, with my stack. It feels so dirty folding though, because I- Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. What does this mean, dude? This is so fucked. This is so fucked. Oh my god, Travis, this is actually so fucked. 3x pre-flop as well. He did bet the, he did bet the flop, yeah, he bet two thirds. Also gotta keep in mind, when I had 10-9 suited, he min raised checked on the same board, so he's not just blind blasting flops, because with the same hand from before. He, okay, this time he 3x versus min raising last time, but he just checked the flop, so he's not just barreling every flop. This is so fucking disgusting. This is so, I think I'm folding. This is so disgusting. I got my worst 10 here. It's so painful to fold, but like, I just... I mean, I have the 9 of clubs as well, so I'm blocking more draws he can jam though. I don't know, dude. That seems so fucking filthy of my... <sighs> that's just so... That's just a weird... I mean, look, if anything, we call more there in a bounty tournament than we would in just a regular freeze out because it's worth so much more, but... Oh, fuck, that's such a weird spot. Wait, right, what's happening here? Do we... Oh, we're heads up! What the fuck? If he leads that turn, it's a nightmare spot for me. Oh my god, good luck, Jax. Here we go. Nine six of clubs. Oh, 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 no way. How the fuck do I? How do I do that? That's a skill. Yeah, that was mean. Shove it, shove it, shove it, shove it, shove it, shove it, shove it. This gorgeous Halloween background. Oh, pog slide. Oh, that, that doesn't get much cleaner, Travis. Come on. Let's be real, kid. It doesn't get much cleaner than that. I, I mean, I guess I could complain about the two diamonds on the flop, but hey. Not sure of queen, queen or needle mover. Am I right? Am I right or am I right? Oh my god, I'm so dirty. I'm so dirty. Just pick it up nine two as well. Do it. <laughs> oh, select thy AI. Oh, that's filthy. That's so filthy. That's that's that shit is illegal. You're just doing dirty that hard. Ooh, yummy gummy. To my YouTube audience, hope you enjoyed the run. Plus $1,019.54 today. Taking another one in nine bounty hunter. Love to see it. Hit the sub button and the like button, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Oh. Peace. Uh, I don't do handshakes, people.